check this out. For most people, AI agents are the most intriguing thing we've got going on in this space, but also the most mysterious, mystical, and scary area of AI because having a real autonomous agent that can do all the things for you, go on your computer, do all of the different things and effectively act as an agent, talk to your customers, be a customer service agent, all kinds of things. These functionalities already exist, but how do you get there? From knowing nothing about AI to actually building a working AI agent. I'm gonna show you something. Google and Anthropic have both released some of the most impressive and informative uh, documents, information on AI agents that I've ever seen. Uh, this one has been going around with a Kaggle link, but Google have, it's a, it's a PDF, it's a 42 page PDF with absolutely packed with information. And for a lot of people, they're probably gonna skim through this and not look deep into it. I, I definitely recommend reading through it, making notes and educating yourself because as we know, we need to know about all of these things. We need to keep up. But I'm gonna show you something that's gonna help you do this and not just with these AI agent reports, but with any large chunk of information that you're gonna come across and you know you absolutely need to devour the information, but your attention span is challenged or it's just a lot to take in. I'm gonna show you what you have to do. Notebook LM. There are other tools on the market that do this, but Notebook LM is just as free as all the other tools. And this tool, let me let me just create, let me put it together. But this is gonna create a an active podcast for you to talk to the documents. So you can upload a number of documents, uh, YouTube videos, websites, anything, and you can talk to that information in a way I've never seen before. You can actually voice it. They're gonna stop their fake podcast and they're gonna respond to you. It's amazing. So let me give it this information. So for the Claude one, I'm just gonna copy and paste it in. So it's gonna take all of this. It's not as long as the Google one. So uh, copy text. I'm gonna paste that here, insert. So we've got one, it's just going through it, it's giving it a name. I'm gonna add another source. Uh, I'm gonna download the PDF. All right, that's uploading. All right, so I've got my two AI agent documents here. We've got the white paper one, it's completely summarized it. It's got key topics I can go and search through and then I've got my other source. So you can add as many sources as you like, of course. But the big thing here that I wanna show you is this section here, this deep dive conversation. So I'm gonna get it to turn these two sources, it's gonna combine these two sources, and it's gonna turn it into a podcast with two people talking. And as they're talking through it and really emphasizing the key information, I can stop them at any moment and ask them for clarification or get them to tell me more about a particular section in the sources. So it's gonna take a few minutes to do this. And then down here in the notes section, you can create a study guide, briefing document, FAQs, timeline. It's just an insane way to talk to data. And if you combine this with Google's other tool, the screen sharing one, where it can act as a tutor for you. There's nothing stopping you from learning everything you need to know about these AI agents and coding tools. Right, so it's done. It took maybe about three and a half, maybe four minutes to do. And we've got this 13 minute, 20 second podcast that it's made from these two documents. You've got this interactive mode, which is what I mentioned, where you can talk to it, it's gonna turn it into a podcast, and you can just hit this join button down here. Let's give it a go and see what it sounds like. You know, it's funny, we humans, like we pride ourselves on being like problem solvers, but we rely on tools all the time, like our smartphones and laptops, even a trusty hammer. And it seems like AI is catching on to this whole tool using thing which is what makes things really fascinating for our deep dive today. We're talking about AI agents, not just AI that generates text or images, but systems that can use tools to like actually achieve goals. 
almost like a chef in a kitchen, right? Not just a library full of cookbooks. Yeah, what's so fascinating here is that we're going beyond AI that just reacts to our requests. We're talking about AI that can take initiative, strategize, and execute complex tasks using all sorts of tools. And we've got two sources that will help us unpack this. We've got a detailed white paper from Google AI and a blog post from Anthropic. Both of them leaders in this field, but with distinct perspectives. I think what I'm most curious about is like, how autonomous are these agents really? What's going on behind the scenes when they make decisions? And what kind of tools are we even talking about? Right, so maybe we should start by clarifying what an AI agent actually is. The Google white paper breaks it down into three core components. First, you have the language model. You can think of this as the brain of the operation. This is what processes information and makes decisions based on its training and the input it receives. Okay, so that's the thinking part. Then we have the tools, which the white paper refers to as the agent's hands. These are the external programs or systems the agent can actually utilize. So things like APIs, databases, or even physical robots in some cases. Precisely. And then tying it all together, you have what's called the orchestration so I, layer. I don't this even want to stop it. I don't even want to stop it. But um, just to show, I should actually, I should continue playing it. And then I want to show you this join feature. So as it's playing, you interrupt it. Let me just, let me just show. It's really complex. It's not simply. A oh, wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey guys, great show. Um, I wanted to ask how easy it is for a non-coder like myself to create my own AI agent and get it set up. That's a fantastic question. And it's something a lot of people are curious about. It's also a really good way to think about how accessible this technology is right now. Yeah, and it's great you're thinking about diving in. You don't need to be a code expert. There are some use-friendly tools and platforms out there. We'll be talking about some of those in a bit. But it really depends on what you want your agent to do. Exactly. As you'll see later, it's a spectrum. Some platforms let you create agents with simple drag-and-drop interfaces. Others might require some basic understanding of programming concepts, but don't let that scare you. We're not talking about needing to write thousands of lines of code. For most basic use cases, you can find tools that abstract away the complexity. And just like we've been talking about, the real key is defining the problem you want the agent to solve and finding the appropriate tools for it. You'll see that the white paper we're using as a resource actually mentions some tools like Langchain that make this process way more accessible, and we'll get to that soon. But first, let's get into some of the core differences between different types of AI agents. So picking up where we left off, and <laughs> That's funny. So I interrupted their chat to ask my question. They took the time to respond to me while still using their knowledge of the source as their response. And then they smoothly, seamlessly went back to their discussion. So what this does is it takes something as complex as these like really detailed white papers, turns it into um, edutainment, I think it's called, where we can be entertained in podcast form and also be educated and then you can just download this as an as an audio file mp3 i'm not sure what it downloads as probably an mp3 and send that to your phone send that to wherever and listen to it on the go i think that's amazing i'm going to continue to listen to these two go through this information i might add some other sources in and talk back and forth with it and then download it as an mp3 i think that's amazing of course if you want to check these out the links are in the description for the white paper and anthropics uh, url the blog post and of course this is just notebook lm by google completely free